Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to cover Viva questions based upon the basic system calls like read, write, open and lseek. So the first question is, what does the write system call return on success and failure? So the write system call on success is going to return the number of bytes written. Okay, how many number of bytes? it was able to write on the file descriptor. So let us suppose you, wrote, you write write then 1 so means you are going to write on the screen hello and then you write 5. So you can see hello the content is 5. So if you write n is equal to write so n will contain 5 okay. Whatever data the count of that data will be returned on success. On failure, it is going to return minus 1. Question number 2. Can you write using the write system call? So, can you send some data using the write system call to a printer? So, the answer is yes, you can do it. You need to know what is the file descriptor of the printer. Question number 3. Can write system call be used to write into a file xyz.txt without knowing the file descriptor of xyz.txt. Is it possible? The answer is no because we can use the write, read or any other system call only if we have the file descriptor of the file. So without knowing the file descriptor we cannot do it. Okay. The corresponding question can be then how to know the file descriptor? Your answer should be the open system call. Question number four. How to access the manual page of write system call or in fact even the read system call or the open system call. So for any system call if you want to access the manual page you are supposed to write man to and then the system call. Okay. The second section of the manual page are reserved for the system calls. Now here is one unsolved question so I am not going to answer this but it is pretty straightforward you should be able to do it. What does the read system call return on success? So for write I have told you so read you should be able to figure it out now. Question number 5. What does the open system call return on success? So the open system call returns the file descriptor of the files, all the user created files and remember the file descriptor value will always be greater than 2. On failure the open system call is going to return minus 1. Question number 6. Which system call is used to know the file descriptor of a file? So now this is pretty straightforward. The answer is open system call. Question number 7. The value of the file descriptor of any user created file, you will notice that it is always greater than 2. Why? Why it is not 0, 1 or 2? The reason is the 0, 1 and 2, these file descriptors are reserved. 0 is for the standard input device, 1 is for the standard output device and 2 is for the standard error device. Question number 8. What is the difference between O underscore append and O underscore truncate flags used with the open system call? The O underscore append, this is going to allow you to append the data to the existing content of the file. So if you, if you open a file using the open system call and there is already some existing data and you don't want to overwrite that then you need to use this O underscore append flag. Okay, So it is for appending the new data to the end of the file means to the existing content of the file. Now O underscore truncate what it is going to do is it is going to delete the existing data, clear the existing data and write the new content. If you don't do this then the existing data will be there and if you write 
anything less than the existing data you will see that the new data is there but the leftover ex old data is also there so let us suppose that the file which you are going to open already contains this o question 8 okay so let's suppose the content of the existing file is this and you open the file without using o underscore truncate and you write new so what it is going to do is it is going to delete the first three characters and write here new okay so now what will be the content of your file new s t i o n space 8 but if you use o underscore truncate then it is going to clear the entire existing data and write the new one so in that case the content will be only new question number nine how can you find the size of the file using the l6 system call so this can even be modified that which system call can you use to find the size of the file so you can use the l6 system call for that and how to use l6 you need to know that or you need to remember that lc returns the current position of the file pointer okay whenever you use lc wherever you find the pointer within the file lc will return that particular position within the file so what you are going to do is you're going to use lc and then use the seek underscore end parameter and position the pointer at the end so use lc file descriptor minus one seek end means you position the pointer at the last at the end of the file so what else will return you store it into an integer variable and that value of the integer variable will tell you whatever is the size of the file last question can else be used to read and write also now this is a common error that a lot of students make okay they use lseq for reading and writing the answer is no you cannot do it lseq will only help you to position the pointer that's it for reading and writing you have to use the read and write system call only so that were all the questions from the basic system calls in the next video we are going to cover questions related to process